पीपल डोंट जस्ट पास एडविक्शन एग्जाम्स फॉर माई वीडियोज इंस्टेड द पास विथ फ्लाइंग कलर्स विच इज़ वेल एविडेंट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज ईजी फोर हंड्रेड प्रैक्टिस एग्जाम क्वेश्चन डिजाइन बाई मी इज एज पर द लेटेस्ट सिलेबस दैट इज फर्स्ट नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू लर्निंग प्रीवियस और आउटडेटेड कंटेंट वुड सीरियसली पुट यूर रिस्क ऑफ पैसिंग दिस एग्जाम आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू बिफोर लर्निंग ईजी फोर हंड्रेड यू गो थ्रू माई ईजी वन ओ फोर एज वेल एज ईजी टू ओ फोर दैट इज डेवलपिंग सोल्यूशंस फॉर एज अ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एज वेल एज द डेवलपर सर्टिफिकेशन whether or not you, if you want don't want to appear for the certification doesn't matter but what matters is the knowledge even if you don't want to appear for this exam if you want just easy four of a uh, 400 certification that is as a devops i highly recommend please go through my certification you will find this practice exam questions much easier all right we have our first question always mark the keyword just like i have done here in the question in real world exam it will help you simplify so let's first look at option b c and d b says production release c says integration testing while d says staging if you look at these option they are associated with run time we are more interested at compile time currently as if we read in the question it says about static code analysis which is done at compile time hence we'll reject these three option and if you look at the official documentation for the same as i always support my answers with the official documentation so that you can have a trust on my answer various automatic checks are also required and are built into the commit pipeline to analyze code during check in when builds are compiled and here are the categories in which static code analysis also falls you got to have a look at this documentation and all the categories with respect to exam because they are as per the latest syllabus and hence will lock a built as a correct answer in the interest of time okay this is a very straight forward question if i mark the keyword whenever you see keywords like java in the question then maven or gradle should strike in your mind since option d contains gradle so we'll keep this option and reject the rest and lock it as a correct answer all right we got one brainstorming question if you want to score good marks in ez400 then definitely you can't ignore arrange the sequence questions i got around 7 questions to arrange in correct order personally you need to have hands on experience for this question as it is next to impossible to remember the answers for this type of question so the first step would be to create teller service and cluster admin role binding therefore we need to run kubectl create command we'll move this pass your ez400 exam in a blink with my keyword tricks included in the pdf exclusively available for diamond members and above become a member now by clicking the join button next we need to deploy basic teller to azure kubernetes service cluster hence we need to run helm init because before working with helm we need to run helm init command so we'll move this before helm install and as a last step we would be installing helm charts therefore we'll run helm install commands and if we look in the same in the official documentation it's written that kubectl create and here we go helm install and now if your question is why we aren't running helm install as a second step then i have got the helm official documentation for backup it's written to begin working with helm run the helm in init command so therefore this step got to be the step 2 and hence we'll lock these as the correct answer all right we got interesting question related to arm templates and release pipelines let's first look at option a and d option a says as a sentinel while d says use as a firewall as a sentinel and firewall are associated with security as per the question there is no requirement of security service since these are incorrect choice now both partial and devops service build steps will provide the same result there is one advantage of using powershell we can use the same script used by developers in visual studio and provide consistency throughout the life cycle therefore we need to correct answer it seems like we got our answer but let's still look at the official documentation it says different options for deploying an arm template from pipeline that is powershell script is there which was one of the options i guess you got to have a look at the this documentation that is arm templates with pipeline this is very important topic and we'll lock b and c as a correct answer all right another arrange the sequence question 
one thing we should keep in mind that in Azure test plans, we can add only add manual test cases for automated test cases. We need to create the test in a programming language of choice, then add the project to Azure repository. And at last, we need to add the project to run in the pipeline. Quick tip for the exam, whenever you see questions related to arrange and sequence, first step should be to create something because unless we create something, we cannot proceed to the next step, right? Similarly, since the question is about test case, so we need to create a test project first. We move this create test project because we need to create something. And as next step, we should check in the project onto Azure DevOps repository. We'll move this check in the project onto DevOps repo. And as a last step, we need to add the automated test to build pipeline, which is this one. And we'll log this as the correct answer. All right. Very interesting question related to reducing the number of queue builds. It can be applied in real world projects as well. So you got to pay attention. Let's first look at option C and D together. C says use additional self-hosted agents while D says use additional Microsoft hosted agents. To minimize the time required to run the builds and reduce the number of queued builds, we need to use parallel jobs. Since option C and D doesn't use parallel jobs, if you look in the options, therefore these are incorrect choice, we'll reject this. Now, if we read the question and the text marked by me, that is, long build times. So there's a hint that we need a parallel job, which shouldn't have a time constraint for Microsoft hosted parallel jobs. There are time constraints, hence doesn't fit the requirement of the equation. We'll reject option B and keep option A. And if you look in the same in the official documentation for self hosted, it's written there are no time limits on self hosted jobs. And if you read here as the number of queued builds uh, and releases exceeds the number of parallel jobs you have, your build and release queues will grow longer. When you find the queue delays are long, you can purchase additional parallel jobs as needed. That's what is required by the question. Now, if you're confused with Microsoft hosted, I have already marked the incorrect ones in the red highlighter that is Microsoft hosted parallel jobs that can have up to 360 minutes, that is six hours each time for public projects and for private projects, it's 60 minutes each time. So you got to keep in mind that Microsoft hosted agents have some time constraint while self hosted doesn't have. As per the question, we'll lock A as a correct answer. All right, we have a question related to database. It's very interesting question. Let's first look at option A that is LDF file, LDF stand for log database file. LDF file keeps a record of everything done to the database for rollback purpose. So as to save data from loss in SQL server. The question isn't about rollback, hence incorrect choice, we'll reject this. Let's move to option B. It says MDF file. MDF stands for master database file, which is used by Microsoft SQL server to store user data in relational databases. The question is about updating the Azure SQL database and not about storing the data, right? If you read here, that is update the Azure SQL database. Therefore, it's again incorrect choice. Now between C and D, that is C says backpack, while D says backpack. Backpack and backpack are very similar. Backpack is focused on capturing the schema and data, supporting two main operations primarily, which are import and export of schema. On the other end, Dacpack is focused on deploying the schema, including upgrading an existing database. Therefore, Dacpack looks more relevant as per the question. If we read that is, it's about updating the Azure SQL database. Hence, we'll reject option C and keep option D. If you look at the official documentation, it's written the dot Dacpack can be used to update a database. That's what is required as per the question. Will log D as a correct answer. All right, very important question with respect to DevOps exam. Let's first look at option A that is cycle time. Cycle time measures the time it takes for a team member to complete work items once they begin actively working on them. In the question, there's no mention of active keyword, hence incorrect choice. Let's look at option C now that is burn down. Burn down chats focus on remaining work within a specified period of time. Again, which is not required by the question. Let's move to option D says burn up. Burn up charts focus on just the completed work. Hence again, incorrect choice. 
because we need elapsed time from the creation as well. So this doesn't satisfy our need. Quick tip for the exam, if you are confused between cycle time and lead time, that is how to remember both these terms. Just look at the keyword active in the question. If keyword active is mentioned in the question somewhere, then the answer should be cycle time, else the answer would be lead time. In our case, there is no mention of active keyword if you read the question, therefore automatically answer is lead time. If you look at the official documentation, it's written the same. The lead time is calculated from work items creation to entering a completed state. That what is required by the question. And for the incorrect ones, that is I have marked actively word also mentioned in the official documentation. If you're confused with the cycle time, you got to have a look at it because you got to understand the concepts between these with respect to exam. And in the interest of time, we'll lock B as the correct answer. Okay, we got an interesting question. If you have passed AZ 104, then you might be familiar about IAS because this is very important and you might have done also some kind of hands-on. So let's look at option C first, hosted Mac OS. This is Microsoft exam and not Apple or iOS exam. It's anything which is not related to Windows ecosystem, it's automatically a distractor. Let's move to option D now that is computer vision. Computer vision is an AI service as per the question we don't need AI service. Therefore, it's again incorrect. Let's move to option A that is hosted windows container. There's a mention of docker in the question as well. But the problem is there's no such thing as hosted windows container in Azure. It's just an invalid option just to distract. Therefore, option A is again incorrect and we will lock B hosted as the correct answer. All right, we got question related to open source libraries. Let's first look at option A and B. A says Maven, B says Gradle. Maven and Gradle are associated with Java. In the question, there's no mention of Java. Hence, incorrect choice, so we'll reject this. Let's move to option C, Helm. We know that helps to manage Kubernetes application. Helm has nothing to do with licensing standards as mentioned here in the keyword therefore helm is again incorrect choice white source is the leader in continuous open source software security and compliance management therefore the correct answer should be white source old and we'll log this as the correct answer so please 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 don't go away let's meet in part two of easy 400 which got to be more interesting